and all that shit. It's, it's my mom too, so it's weird. But like, if someone if someone did something twenty years, it's cancel culture. My mom's fucking canceling my dad. <laughs> <laughs> he did that shit twenty years ago. Let it go. You know what I mean? Like, canceling my dad. <laughs> I, t- I, tweeted, <laughs> I tweeted horrific shit twenty, you know, like ten years ago. Yeah, yeah. I don't, yeah. don't want to go to court for that. I don't want to have to like yeah. explain that shit. So you know, my dad was shitty and he was abusive, but like it was so long ago and he hasn't done it. He's clearly changed his ways and all that stuff. So I feel like she should go amicably, but mm-hmm. for lawyers, like, yo, we'll get hell. We'll get way more money and we'll get way mm-hmm. more shit. If you bring this mm-hmm. up. So I was like, all right, you, I mean, you're not wrong. I'll get that. Yeah, but you know what happens, you know what happens with that though? They end up getting the money mm-hmm. because your, your, your dad, your dad's lawyers got to resist that. And then her lawyers got to go. And then you're, and the only, people that are getting, out longer. only people are getting rich is the lawyers. And then what it is left for her to chop up will be shit because so much money will go to the lawyers. Yeah, they've already done all these postponing and arraignments and financial checks and all oh, we have to come back with the liquidity and like there's all this yeah. shit going on. It's been going on for like five, six months already. Yeah. And yeah. especially with the pandemic, like and it ain't nowhere. It ain't close either. That's not close. Yeah. I mean, even if you have an amiable kind of uh, divorce, it still could take two years Easy, right. two years, three years. I know guys, five years, you know, when they're fighting for stuff and scrapping and scrambling and you create this tension. There's a whole, um, there's a documentary. Have your mom watch this documentary. Uh, I forget that, but if you Google it, it's a documentary on marriage and how the lawyers play it uh, on both ends, the lawyers, the judges, everything. So, you know, I, I've just Google it, Google about Marriage yeah. is a business or a marriage corp, I think it's called. Marriage That's corp, what I think yeah. it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's just because it just, you know, you marriage. So the relationship vows? is it shattered is, vows? No. Is it marriage corp? Let's see. I'll look it up. Marriage corp, I think it is. But but, it, is, but it's but interesting. This is also why why I always love the thing that women go like, why don't men want to get married? It's so like, mm-hmm. why would we? Look at this. Yeah. Like all this shit. Like Well, that's what that whole doc is about. It's like this is not even this is not a good deal. It's really not a good deal. And then you get it, it's not a good deal, and then you know, and is then you get somebody on the guy's wants, part or on both parts? It's on the guy's part. It's a shitty deal. It's a shittier it's a shitty deal. deal. The the shittier. uh divorce corp is a documentary from twenty fourteen, so that might be it. Um yeah. uh but it's a shittier it's always the laws in America, for whatever reason, kind of skew towards uh, the women now because it's making up for the time that men, there were no laws. So a guy would just clean out his wife and leave her like if he wanted to f- start fucking the new yeah. secretary, he'd just be right. like, well, I'm done with you now, bitch. And then she would get cleaned out like with what happened to Tina you know, Turner. Divorce in India is but, like you just got to throw rocks at your wife. Right. Like, exactly. you know, yeah. get, like, like she's yeah, you a raccoon because no you, ha- yeah. you have to throw <laughs> No you have deal. to throw an acorn at your new wife to signify, though. That's the <laughs> right. weird part. Yeah. But at least they have a system. It seems fair. You know, now, you know, seems fair. But yeah. Yeah. Fuck, man. And how, how are you feeling about all this, Neil? Like it puts you in the middle. I forget. It's, I know you had weird. a contemptuous relationship with your dad for a long time. Right. So. What the fuck that means? What's a contemptuous or contempt? Who, contempt- who did what to where? It was what? fucked up, yo. It was fucked, it was fucked up. up, yo. Yeah, Sorry. A contempt- Can you say that? Throw that one more time. Contemptuous. Okay. Who? It was fucked up, yo. Contemptuous. Up, yo. I could dig um, it. Contemptuous. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I uh, just, available of contempt. Yeah. yeah. I've just kind of tried to stay out of it as much as possible. Yeah. I don't think it's I'm, I'm too. How do you feel thing. about it? What's your feeling about it? I mean, I think it should have happened a long time ago. Mm. I, I don't think it happened a long time ago because they wanted to stay together for the kids, which I respect. And I think that that's really nice. You man school. 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.